Good morning, class. Um, welcome to today's lesson. I'm going to teach you how to prepare a salaries journal. Straightforward, the first thing you need to have is the gross salaries. And in this particular case, it's given per year. So the first step you're going to do is divide all of those yearly salaries by 12 because we do salaries on a monthly basis. Fortunately for you, your activities, they've given you the salaries per month, so you don't have to divide by 12. So in this case, I'm only going to do Al Linden salary and do Al Linden's lines throughout here. And then I will show you the answers for the rest of them for Valley and Kruger um, because it's the same process. So to get the gross salary, um, and so what you need to know is gross salary is basic salary plus bonus. What you're looking here is the basic salary. The reason why I'm saying this is there's no bonuses here. Um, there is an activity that you have where there will be somebody with a bonus. So all you have to do is just put the bonus in here. Fortunately, in this activity, there is no bonus. All right, so let's get started. If I'm doing Al Linden, his salary for the year is 136800 So I'll take 136800 divided by 12 because they gave me the salary for the year in your case in your activities they give it to you monthly so it's fine so I'll go there 11,400 straightforward right so I'll try to make it small so that it fits inside um, the block and we don't have any issues all right so I'm going to make sure all are pretty much the same but if we do have a situation where well, we can make it bigger there is no bonus so it's zero or you can just put a dash so now gross salary is made up of your basic salary plus your bonus in this case it's eleven thousand four hundred because there is no bonus all right all good so far now there's a first section here after the salary is deductions when a person gets paid a salary, there are certain mandatory or um, legal deductions like PAYE and UIF. And then there are other deductions like pension fund and medical aid where it is, um, it's, it's, it's if they choose to take medical aid or pension fund or if the company offers it. But those two are not mandatory. Mandatory is PAYE and UIF that is paid over to SARS. All right, let's have a look at the deduction scenario. There's it here. This is going to tell you how to calculate the deductions for each one. Pension, PAYE, medical aid, UIF. They're telling me that pension deduction is 5% of gross salary. There's my gross salary, 11,400. So pension is 5% of 11,400. So let's get going. 11. 400 times 5% equals to 570. Wonderful. So I go there and I write 570. Then they tell me PAYE is 36% of gross salary after pension has been deducted. So it's a bit of a tricky one. For you, I had a look at your activities. The PAYE is given, so you don't have to worry. But in this one, I will show it to you because sometimes in the exams or in future, you need to know if they give you a scenario like this. They're saying it's 30% of gross after pension has been deducted. So what it means, you're going to take your gross minus it from pension fund and then take 30% of that amount. So we're going to do that. Gross is 11.4. Gross is 11.4. And so I'm going to go there. There's my gross salary is 11, 400 minus 570 equals to. And I'm going to take 36% of that amount times 36% equals to. I've got a decimal. Don't be afraid in your, t in your activities if you get decimals. What I suggest you do is put it at least to two decimal places. So this is 3898.80. 3898.80. So like I said, I will try and 
minimize it so that they all fit because it's quite a big one um, but I'm sure you can see my screen um, and I see they still sort of not fitting um, so what I will do is just extend that and here we go it fits all right so wonderful let's look at now we're doing medical aid for linden remember i said to you i'm only going to do linden it's the same process that applies for valley and kruger once i'm done with linden i'll show you the final answers for the rest of them all right medical aid is 1930 per month deductions deductions medical aid medical aid so that is nice. They gave us the amount. Sometimes you may have to calculate it. Just see what they tell you. In your activity, they may say it's 7% of basic. Then you just take your basic salary times 7%. Fortunately, here they gave us the medical aid fund. What is UIF? 1% of gross salary. I'm doing UIF. 1% of gross salary. There's my gross salary. 1% of that. So I'm going to go to my calculator and there's it 11,400 times 1% equals to 114 rands. Wonderful. 114. Now I'm done with deductions. All I've got to do is add all of them up and put my total deduction. Total deductions, you basically add all the deductions up. So 570 plus 3898.8 plus 1930 plus 114 then I do that 5 570 plus 3898.80 plus go back there 1930 plus 114 equals to 6512.8 total deductions is 65 six five one two comma eight zero wow wonderful we're almost done with deductions and then i will take you to contributions and then we're done for linden and i'll show you the rest of the answers all right now net salary net salary is gross salary minus total deductions gross salary minus total deductions so it's 11,400, 11,400 minus 6512.8, 6512,80 equals to 4887.2, 4887, 4887,2. This is what Lyndon will get paid into his bank account at the end of the month this is how your parents salaries are worked out by the payroll department in their particular companies so these are all their deductions this is what they earn and minus their deduction this is what's left and that's what they will get paid into their bank account at the end of the month for Lyndon, this is what he is going to get paid all right then we come to contributions there's the contribution scenario what are contributions contributions are what the owner of the business will pay towards each of these deductions what it means is that if you are paying pension fund 570 he will also say listen i want to be also kind to you i'll also add to your pension i'll also contribute you're paying medical aid i will also contribute for you so it adds up more for you it's a benefit towards you and they also pay one percent gross uh, of gross for uif and skills development levy let's not waste much time they got check number here i'm not sure i don't think in your in your um uh format they have check number but it doesn't matter for the first one you can put zero one and now we're doing the medical aid contributions what do they say about medical aid 50% of employees contributions to a maximum of 900 in your activities they would have given you the amount or it's a much easier calculation but what they're saying here is the, the owner is saying I will contribute 50% of what you are contributing in other words 50% of the employee there's the employees deduction but only to a maximum of 900 
Now, if I calculate 50% of what Linden gets deducted, 1930, 1930 times 50% is 965. So the employer or the owner is saying, I'll contribute 50% of what you, con you are paying, but only to a maximum of 900. 965 is more than 900 so the owner is going to say look i will only contribute 900 because 965 is more what does pension say for contribution ran for ran ran for ran means if the employee is deducting 570 the employer will also contribute in other words what you contribute what you are deducting i'll also contribute Pension is being deducted 570. The employer says ran for ran, I'll also contribute the same amount, 570. Now UIF is 1% of gross, which is 11,400 times 1%. And there we go, 11,400 times 1% equals to 114. All right, that's easy, 114. And then skills, SDL means skills development levy, and that is 1% of gross as well. So it's the same amount. I'm not going to do the calculation 114. And then all you got to do is total. Total contributions means you total all these contributions. 900 plus 570 plus 114 plus 114, which I'm going to do that now. And 900 plus 570 plus 114 plus 114 equals 1698 all right 1698 done straightforward now I've done it for Linden I'm not going to do it for Valley and Kruger the answers are below and I'm going to take you to the answers and you will have a look at it there we go Linden as we've done it and you've got access to this document so you can always have a look at it there's valley and there's you can always check if the amounts are correct you can go and work it out on your own and make sure and please guys at the end make sure you total all the bottom total columns where they need to be totaled please total them when you're doing the activities all right i pray that you you you, you were blessed and 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 you enjoyed this lesson and you understand keep rewinding forward go and have a look at how i did this activity but i'm sure it's been a blessing to you um, i love you guys and i hope you enjoyed it stay blessed from the ready